Imagine a world where death by old age is optional. Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well, scientists are saying we're getting closer to that reality. But here's the real mind bender. What happens to healthcare when we cure aging itself? Let's dive into this wild future. Hey there, fellow science enthusiasts. Today we're tackling something that'll blow your mind. Longevity escape velocity. That's fancy talk for living basically forever. We've got some fascinating research that suggests we might be closer than you think. And we're especially looking at what this means for our healthcare heroes, nurses. Trust me, you'll want to hear this. All right, buckle up, everybody. Today we're diving headfirst into something uh, really mind-bending. Oh. Longevity escape velocity. That's a big one. This is the idea that we could actually gain more than a year of lifespan for every year that passes. It's wild, right? Which means, you know, think about it. It's not just about living longer. Right. It's about changing how we age altogether. It really challenges everything we thought we knew about aging and healthcare. And especially for, well, for everyone. But today we're going to be focusing on nurses. Yeah, that's a big one. Because the big question is, will this mean we need like an army of nurses for this massive elderly population that's just going to keep growing. Right, right. Or will we actually need fewer nurses because yeah. we're actually solving aging? We're going to be looking at research, articles. We've got some expert opinions lined up. It could be interesting to see where this goes. It's not It's not going to be a straightforward answer, I don't think. No, not at all. So let's, let's paint a picture of this LEV world, shall okay. we? Uh, one of our sources, Tomorrow Bio, Okay. they have... They lay out this really bold vision. Yeah. They're talking about a future where where we're not just tacking on extra years. Mm -hmm. We're staying healthier and more productive for much, much longer. Imagine like chronic diseases just becoming a thing of the past. Yeah. Retirement is like completely redefined. And people are, are contributing, you know, much later in life. Way later than we think of as old age now. Yeah, exactly. Like, Mind-blowing. And they're pointing to these very real advancements, right? Absolutely, yeah. In biotech, in genomics, yeah. uh, DNA repair. Cell rejuvenation. And they're even talking about, like, lengthening telomeres. Yeah, yeah. Those, the things on the ends of our chromosome. Yeah, that caps. That shorten as we age. Exactly. It is really remarkable stuff. So that's that's the optimistic side. But, you know. There's always a but. Here's where it gets really interesting, is even if we do achieve this. Mm-hmm. It's not without, you know, a few bumps in the road. We found this analysis on LinkedIn that highlights some of the challenges. Oh, interesting. Like what? Well, one of the biggest ones is resources. Right. If everybody's living longer, yeah. even if it's a good thing, that's a lot more people competing for housing. More people needing food, energy. Yeah, exactly. Especially if people are working longer, too. That's a whole other... And then think about the workforce, oh, right? Yeah. We might need these massive retraining programs because... People are staying in their careers much longer. People who might have retired at 65 are now working until they're 80. Exactly. That changes everything. Not to mention the ethical questions. Right. About, of course. About who gets access to these life-extending technologies. That's a huge one. So that brings us to the, the heart of the debate. Okay. The future of nursing. Yeah. This LinkedIn analysis says that, initially at least, it might actually mean we need more healthcare professionals. Really? Yeah, because even if people are healthier... They'll still need some care as they age, right? Exactly. And there's just going to be more people overall. Okay, I see. So that's one side of the coin, right? right? More nurses needed. But then you have Tomorrow Bio arguing the complete opposite. Really? Yeah, that we might actually need fewer nurses. How do they figure that? Well, their argument is that LEV isn't just about tacking on extra years. Yeah. It's about transforming how we age. Right. So if we can actually treat aging itself... Mm -hmm. The need to manage all those chronic diseases of old age just plummets. Interesting. Think of it like maintaining a classic car. Just because it's well-preserved doesn't mean it never needs attention. The difference is we're talking about keeping humans running smoothly for centuries, not decades. So less reactive health care. Yeah. More proactive. Exactly. It's about maintaining optimal health 
throughout our lives. Catching things early. Intervening before they even become problems. That's where technology comes in, right? Yeah. We found this paper from Tech UK. Okay. They're talking about digital twins in healthcare. Digital twins, like little virtual versions of us running around. Kind of. It's a it's a virtual representation of your body. Oh, okay. Constantly monitoring your health, analyzing data. So it can predict problems before they even show up. Yeah, like a personalized early warning system. And this is all powered by AI. Exactly. AI that can go through tons of data. And spot those tiny little things that humans might miss. Exactly. And it's not just about prediction. Right. It's about personalized intervention. Picture having a check engine light for your body. That's basically what we're talking about here. Catching problems before they become problems. Pretty wild how we're turning science fiction into science fact, isn't it? We've got some really cool articles from the National Institutes of Health, BMC Medical Education. Oh, yeah. All about this uh, precision medicine. Precision medicine. What's that? So it's using your genes, your lifestyle, your environment uh -huh. to tailor your health care. So not just one size fits all anymore. Exactly. That makes sense. We're talking about AI-powered diagnostic tools, personalized treatment plans. Wow. AI even helping to figure out the right dosage of medication. It's amazing how much AI is changing things. Yeah. And all of that could really reduce the need for, you know, that hands-on care. The kind of care nurses usually provide. Exactly. But wait, even if the number of nurses changes, yeah. their role is definitely changing too, right? <laughs> Oh, absolutely. We found this article from Eagle Gate College that, that really highlights this shift. So what are nurses going to be doing in this LEV world? It's, it's more than just like high-tech health coaches. Okay. We're seeing nurses taking on leadership roles. Interesting. Uh, specializing in areas like advanced practice. Uh-huh. Playing key roles in research policy development. So like nurse-led clinics. Yeah. And nurses on those interdisciplinary care teams. And they're becoming increasingly important as patient advocates, too. That's huge. But, you know, as we as we go further down this LEV road, yeah. we can't ignore the potential downsides. Of course not. Tomorrow Bio themselves, they raise some big ethical questions about, about living indefinitely. Like what? Well, what happens if we solve aging, but then the planet's just, like, overcrowded with people? Oh, yeah, that's a problem. Well, the philosophical questions, right? Yeah, about extending human life. And when it comes to AI and healthcare, uh -huh. there are definitely concerns about privacy. Right. Bias. Making sure AI is accountable. We found a study in Curious that that really echoes those concerns. It's important to be cautious with this stuff. So we've got a lot to think about here. We do. Two very different visions of what healthcare could look like in this LEV world. Yeah. And the impact on nursing is, is right at the center of it all. It's a complicated issue. Yeah. But the more we understand it, the better we can navigate this future. Right. Absolutely. Whether we're nurses, patients, or just people who are curious about what's coming next. Yeah. This is fascinating stuff. So we've laid the groundwork, but we're just getting started. There's more. Oh, yeah. In the next part of our deep dive, okay. we're going to go even deeper into the implications of LEV for nurses. I'm ready. And explore what kind of skills and knowledge are going to be essential in this, this brave new world of extended lifespans. Can't wait. So we're really getting into it now, this idea of, of people not only living longer, but staying healthier for much longer. Yeah. It really makes you think about what it means for nursing. It does. I think it's time to, to really ask that big question. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. What happens to the need for nurses in a world where, where we're actually treating and preventing aging? Ah, uh, that's the, the million dollar question, isn't it? It is. And I don't think there's a simple answer. No, we've we've seen both sides. Yeah. It's, it's not black and white. On one hand, you have the argument that, well, with more people living longer, uh -huh. you're going to need more healthcare professionals. Us, including nurses. To manage all their needs. Yeah. Especially at first, you know, as lifespans start increasing. Yeah. You could see a a big jump in demand for healthcare. As people are figuring out how to navigate this this new world. This uncharted territory of longevity. But then, you know, if if LEV really does change how we age. Yeah. Like fundamentally, uh. wouldn't the need for that that traditional reactive kind of health care go down? You would think so, right? If we're not always fighting those diseases of old age. Yeah. Wouldn't it shift more towards prevention? Keeping people healthy throughout their lives. Exactly. That's where things like AI and digital twins could really make a difference. Right. 
Imagine your digital twin is just constantly watching over you, uh -huh. analyzing your data. And alerting you to problems before you even have symptoms. Exactly, like a 247 personal health assistant. But even in a world like that, wouldn't we still need that human touch? Oh, absolutely. That empathy and skilled care that nurses provide. We can't forget the human element of healthcare. Compassion, communication, building trust. That's what nurses do best. And those are those are qualities that technology can't replace. No, no matter how advanced it gets. So maybe we don't know exactly how many nurses we'll need. Yeah. But it seems like their role will definitely keep evolving. Absolutely. They'll need to be comfortable with these new technologies. Right. And develop new skills. Maybe even specialize in areas that are that are becoming more important as people live longer. Like gerontological nursing. As people live longer. The need for nurses who understand the aging process, uh -huh. that's only going to grow. And and we can't forget those ethical considerations. Oh, yeah. As AI becomes more and more integrated into healthcare. Nurses will need to make sure it's used responsibly. Advocate for their patients. Navigate all those tricky ethical dilemmas. Champion data privacy and security. It's a lot to think about. It is, but it really highlights how, how important the role of nursing is becoming. Nurses are adaptable. Uh-huh. They're compassionate. They're committed to to giving the best possible care. And those qualities are going to be even more important in this LEV world. Where the lines between technology and human care are getting blurrier. That's a good point. So so maybe we don't know for sure if LEV will lead to more or fewer nurses. Yeah. But the future of nursing is definitely full of possibilities. Oh, absolutely. It's full of challenges, opportunities, yeah. a chance to really redefine what it means to care for people in this this new era of longevity. As we, as we finish up this part of the deep dive, okay. I want to leave you with something to think about. All right, shoot. What specific skills and knowledge do you think will be most valuable for nurses in this LEV world? It's a great question, and one we'll definitely be exploring more in the final part of our deep dive. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so we're back. Back again. And we've been really digging into this, this whole longevity escape velocity thing LEV. and and how it's going to shake up healthcare the whole world really especially for nurses yeah it's not just healthcare though right. it's it's i mean if people are really living longer healthier lives that affects everything okay so let's let's zoom out for a minute okay what what kind of ripple effects could lev have on on the world beyond just you know hospitals and clinics well, I mean, just think about demographics. Yeah. The age distribution of the population, that's going to change dramatically. A lot more older folks. A lot more people living well into their 80s, 90s, even beyond. It's a whole new world. What about work? Oh, yeah. One of our sources, The Lancet, uh -huh. they're saying that this whole idea of retirement yeah. Might become totally outdated. Like, imagine working into your 70s, 80s, 90s. That's a huge change. It's massive. Workforce planning. Retirement savings. Even the types of jobs. Yeah, yeah. It's it's almost like we need to to invent new careers. To accommodate this this much longer working lifespan. It really challenges how we think about about older people contributing to society. Yeah. Instead of being seen as a burden. They can stay mm -hmm. active and engaged for for much longer. Yeah, we could have this this much more intergenerational workforce. Where the experience of, of older people and their wisdom is valued alongside the energy of, of younger folks. Break down those ageist stereotypes. Yeah. Tap into the potential of a more diverse workforce. But but to get there, uh huh. We'd have to to make some big adjustments. Oh yeah, absolutely. Education, training. The Lancet talks about how learning can't stop at twenty two or even sixty two. Yeah. People might need to be constantly learning new skills. To keep up with the job market. Exactly. It's constantly changing. It is. It's not just job skills either. Right. How are people going to adapt to these longer lifespans personally? Yeah. What about what about our relationships? Our sense of purpose. How do we even like how do we even understand the life cycle when it's so much longer? It's a fundamental <laughs> shift in how we view life itself. And then there's the economic side of things. Wow. Yeah. A bigger population living longer. More demand for goods and services. But how do we pay for health care? Social safety nets. Over such long life stands. That's a huge question. We need we need to find some creative solutions. Sustainable ways to to finance health care and retirement. Yeah. And people are living for so much longer. It might mean rethinking some of our, our economic models. Yeah, it's a big challenge. So it's it's like LEV isn't just a scientific thing. Right. It's a societal thing. It changes everything. It's making us rethink everything we thought we knew about aging, about work, 
the very structure of society. Yeah. It's daunting, but but I think it's also really exciting. Yeah. This is a chance to create a better society. More inclusive. And equitable. More fulfilling for everyone. At every age. And as we as we wrap up this deep dive, okay. I want to leave you with this. All right. The future's not set in stone, right? Yeah, we have a say in it. It's shaped by by the choices we make today. Exactly. So whether yeah. you're a nurse, a policymaker, just a, a regular person living in this this crazy changing world. You have a role to play. In shaping the future of healthcare, of society. In this era of LEV. By by talking about these things, by challenging our assumptions. By embracing innovation. We can create a future where where longevity is is not just possible. But it's a good thing. It's a triumph. A triumph for humanity. Thanks for joining us on this this incredible journey. It's been a wild ride. Keep exploring these these fascinating complex issues. Keep asking questions. Until next time. What a trip, right? We're standing at the edge of something huge here, a world where aging is optional and healthcare looks completely different. Whether this excites you or freaks you out a bit, one thing's clear. We need to start thinking about these changes now. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and hey, maybe I'll see you in a couple centuries. Until next time, stay curious.